character actor Tom Tolles, a regular in Rob Zombie films who also played a murderous sidekick in Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, has died, the writer-director said. He was 65. Zombie announced Tolles' death Sunday on Facebook. I just got word that our buddy Tom Tolles has died, he wrote. He was such a great guy and I am so grateful that we got to work together several times. He will be really missed. No other details were immediately available. The Chicago native also starred as Harry Cooper, one of people trapped in the farmhouse and the father whose young daughter becomes a zombie, in the remake of Night of the Living Dead, 1990. Later, Toll's portrayed Lieutenant George Wydell, who was shot by Karen Black's character, in Zombie's first film as writer-director, House of 1000 Corpses, 2003. He also teamed with the musician-turned-filmmaker in The Devil's Rejects, 2005, The Reimagining of Halloween, 2007, and in a segment of Grindhouse, 2007. Hollywood Reporter, Teenager Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Untold Story In the low-budget Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, 1986, directed by John McNaughton, Tolls played Otis opposite Michael Rooker as the title character. Tolls' psychopath was based on real-life serial killer Otis Toole, who admitted to the 1981 decapitation of the six-year-old son of John Walsh. Walsh in 1988 had created the Fox show America's Most Wanted in a bid to catch the killer of his boy. Tolls also was in such horror films as the remake of The Pit and the Pendulum, 1991, McNaughton's The Borrower, 1991, Homesick, 2007, and Blood on the Highway, 2008. Tolls also could be seen in Dog Day Afternoon, 1975, his first screen credit, Their Rock, 1996, Gridlocked, 1997, More Dogs Than Bones, 2000, and Michael Mann's Miami Vice, 2006. Hollywood Reporter, Emilia Clarke on Sarah Connor, Game of Thrones. On television, Toll's guests starred on such series as Seinfeld, Nip Blue, 